Hello everyone, I'm meteorologist Charlie Ironmonger. It's going to be hot today, but even hotter tomorrow. I know yesterday we had that nice little break in the heat. The break is gone. Today is the transition day from comfortable weather to oppressively hot weather. Still not looking at any sort of heat advisory right now for your Friday and Saturday, but we're certainly on that borderline where one could absolutely be issued uh, because again, we're just going to be getting downright hot. But for today, Mostly sunny skies, maybe a passing cloud or two. Not going to be giving us any sort of raindrop potential here for the next 48 hours. That is today and tomorrow. But by the time we get to Saturday, uh, we could certainly be looking at a better chance of rain. But even for your Friday night, for those of you headed to the Winterville Watermelon Festival, things are again looking sunny and dry, but certainly hot as well. Make sure if you're spending any outside time uh, over the next several days, Hydrate, listen to your body. If you start getting a headache, make sure you head inside, cool yourself down and drink that water. Again, you don't want to get caught uh, having to go through some heat related sicknesses or illnesses uh, if you can avoid it. Now, as we head through your Saturday morning, you'll notice a little bit more cloud cover. Uh, some of those clouds will eventually put down some rain showers, but for now, those raindrops look more likely coming up for Sunday and Monday than what we have for Saturday. Saturday, I think we're going to be seeing a little bit more of a scattered pattern than a full on rain band sweeping across the area. But so long as these cold fronts continue to at least get close to us, we will continue to maintain at least an isolated chance of rain. It does look like those fronts are going to be rolling through as we head into the start of next week, taking 96 degrees on Friday and Saturday, putting it right on back down to the upper 80s as we start the week. But I do want you to note that as we head through your Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, we are going to be tracking what is currently regarded as Tropical Storm Franklin could end up being Hurricane Franklin. That's going to stay around three, four hundred miles off of our coast. While that's not going to give us any rain or any sort of wind damage, we could see some rough swells along our coastline, increasing the rip current threat. So if you do have any beach plans coming up Sunday through Wednesday, uh, do note that that rough surf will be a part of eastern North Carolina's beach forecast, uh, at least over that four days, possibly extending into Thursday, depending on how strong Franklin gets. For WITN, a first alert meteorologist, Charlie Ironmonger.